What is up guys and welcome to the team that you must build if you have got 50,000 coins or under. I promise you by the end of this video, you'll have a team worthy of foot champs and div rivals. Now, today uh, we've actually, to be honest, it's taken me a long time to get to this point. Right, I've played quite a few games. I actually had a completely different team at the start, but now we've actually ended up with a bit of a hybrid. And you know what? I think it's fine-tuned and perfected into what I think is one of the best under 50k teams you can get on the market. Now, just like to say, if you guys would like to see any more videos with any other price points, i.e. 100k, 200k, 250k, 10k, 25k, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to kind of grind through and use a load of different players to kind of whittle down and find out who really is the best players to be included in those said price points. So, as always, smash a like, that would mean the absolute world, and go and check out my coin sponsor, U4GM. If you're in need of any Ultimate Team coins, use my discount code JACK54 at checkout for a nice little discount. Now, without further ado, let's get cracking. Obviously, there's a 442 on the screen right now, but we are not going to be using the 442. In fact, we are going to be going with a 4-3-3 fourth variation. But once all these players are in here, you might be able to change to a formation that will suit you and your play style. But for me, this works quite well. And I'll show you some custom tactics that I've been using to really help hone in on this formation. And yeah, you guys will be able to see what you think. Now, in my opinion, at the very start of the game, you do need a good goalkeeper. Now... This guy is probably more expensive than what he's going to be by the time this video is live and by the time you guys, most of you will have seen this. So first of all, we are going to be using Martinez, all right? He's from the Prem. He's obviously, you know, I think he's around 10,000 coins and, you know, you guys could be saying, oh, that's a fit for your budget straight away. But genuinely, this guy will go for less in no time, I can assure you. And to be honest with you, he's probably a kind of card that you might pick up untradeable. And if you can't afford him, there will be alternatives that you can use and I will show you them at the end. So don't stop watching if you're just thinking, oh, 10,000 coin goalkeeper, whoop they do I can't buy him because I don't have enough coins. But yeah, I'll show you an alternative. Don't worry, that is, you know, pretty decent as well. So uh, yeah, Martinez in goal. I mean, great shot stopper. All round pretty decent. You can see the stats there for yourself. I'm not going to go into too much detail about, you know, everything regarding him. But yeah, well worth picking up if you have got the coins. So the first of two centre-backs. Now, like I said, I do actually have an alternative to this team. And I'm going to put in the two players in here that I did have on uh, as the two centre-backs. And it was Eric Cabello, who is right here. And then we'll also put in the other guy who was Sal Coco. So these two guys were sitting in here and there was actually a La Liga goalkeeper, right? When I first started working out a best under 50k team. But the couple of problems that I have with these guys is, yes, they've got great pace and pace can do great things for you. But in the defensive department, I just felt like I wanted someone and players which are maybe a bit more intelligent in that role and we're better at tackling and all sorts. So I thought, you know what, let's go ahead, pay a few more coins for a centre-back duo from the Premier League. And the first player we're going to be using is Ibu Kanate. You get what is on his card, basically. Decent pace, 82 defending and 82 physical. His passing doesn't seem too great on here, but it's not too bad. I mean, you're not using your your centre-backs to pass all too much unless you're parking the bus. But, you know, he's going to be able to shift the ball from side to side, no problem, and pass under pressure. It's all good. Trust me, it's okay. And then to partner him up as well, we have actually got Diego Carlos. Now, I actually used this guy in a video recently, and he really surprised me because, obviously, he doesn't have great pace. But you know, we know from historic, well, historically, this guy's been pretty good on FIFA. I think you can all vouch for that. And he still is pretty good. He's not going to be in your team come, you know, November or December, maybe, because you would have got some more coins and you could up upgrade. But, you know, if you're you're rocking with 50k or under, this guy is a good player to partner up Ibu Kanate here. And in my opinion, that is a very good, strong 
centre back pairing right there. Uh, Canate as well, six foot four. Diego Carlos, six foot one. He's got high defensive work rate, four star weak foot. Um, so you know, even he's even though he's playing left centre back, he will have that good. Well, he'll be able to pass basically with his left foot pretty comfortably. Um, left back, then we're going to be rolling with a La Liga player, and that is going to be Balda. This guy has, uh, yeah, kind of just got even better than he was last year. Obviously, he did have a team of the season last year. He only had a 76 rated card, I believe, though. I think it was a rare, but they've really stepped up this year. 91 pace. He's got good defending, good dribbling, good passing, and you know what? Four-star weak foot as well, so if you do want to kind of play it inside or whatever, and he's not on his left foot, you're not going to be struggling there as well. I have found as well, this guy seems to be able to keep up with basically anyone, and uh, there will be some clips probably on the screen right now showcasing that, and if not, there'll be some showcasing just some general highlights that I've had with him. It says his stamina is 75. Um... I don't agree with that. He's been one of the players that near the end of the game has really, really been, you know, rocking and rolling. When players have, when my opponents have brought on sub, they've been running through on goal. And this guy is the one that's always chasing them back and uh, being able to put in a good challenge as well. Great crosser as well. Uh, 80 short pass, which is great, uh, considering obviously his passing stat on his card is 73. It does just show that, you know, the short passes are good. Um, so, yeah, all in all, a really good uh, left back and one that I think you guys should purchase for your team. And the other side, we've got a very similar profile. We've got Ter Thierry uh, Correa. Now, again, quite a lot of pace. Decent-ish defensive stat. I'm not going to sit here and say 72 defending is like, you know, bl mind-blowing, but he will do a good job. And, uh, you know, short pass 72. If I'm totally honest, the card is much better in game than what you're kind of getting here. And especially when you don't have many coins, the best thing you can do really is just get some pacey fullbacks and try and cover yourself that way. Obviously, there's improvements and cards you can pick up in the future. Um, but this guy is, let's just see... Well, he was uh, actually first owner, but let's just have a little look at his price. You know, you can pick him up for 100, uh, under 1,000 coins, which is great. Balder, I think you can pick him up for, yeah, 4,000 coins, it seems. I don't know how much I paid for him. Under 4,000. You've got Diego Carlos here, who I think is about 800 coins. Well, he is actually 800 coins. Uh, Ibu Canate is looking at about five and a half. You can see there's a bid, so hopefully you can get him on for under 6K. But again, he's a kind of player that pops out of packs. So, you know, that's the defensive line. I do really think it's genuinely very good. I've seen Ibu Canate and Diego Carlos do very well when they come up against, you know, players which are very pacey. Sometimes I have noticed, though, when you are coming up against maybe like Verma, Verna or Appenda, you know, they can be a little bit slow to keep up with their, like, initial burst of pace but let's be honest unless you've got like 50 60 70k or whatever for ran you're not going to be really be able to do that so um yeah just something to keep in mind they are not bulletproof put it that way moving in then to the midfield and we're actually going to start off with the best player that i've got in my team in my opinion i don't give a i don't give a damn about price or anything right now this is the best player i've got in my team without a shadow of doubt and i really do strongly urge you guys to purchase him whether he's a player that would fit in your team or not or just even if you're buying this team this is a must player to have in there if this guy gets any kind of special card i'm sure he's going to be a decent amount of coins you're not looking at goals and assists with this card at all he's four star weak foot four star skill moves he's five foot seven he's got a high defensive work rate medium attacking but we're going to go into some of the in games here 90 agility all right you really do show that you really do feel that on the card uh good ball control good stamina as well 86 he's got 88 jumping not really that that matters anyway um but there's just a lot of stats here that are in the greens and you know, are just worth taking note if you are, if you ask me. But have a look at some of his play styles. He's got incisive pass. His defensive work is slide tackles, ball control, flair. I mean, you know, this guy is a bit of like a. He's just a bit of a menace in midfield. If I'm, if I'm totally honest, he can do pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, I actually can't believe he is the kind of price he is obviously i've purchased him well i've got him a uh, first owner but this guy i'm sure you can pick him up and bid under a thousand coins there are 800 coins there but genuinely i there's going to be so many clips all right on the screen right now and i hope it does him justice but 
he is absolutely fantastic and he's the one card probably that i've used on fc24 so far which i can stand out and say that guy should be way more coins than what he is he is phenomenal anyway now i've got on and now i've uh, showcased robert uh robert tony uh, i can show you my left center mid now uh, when I first had this team, we did have Marino in here, who this year seems to have some like mental card. I really like it, um, but I felt like he wasn't really giving me what I wanted. And for an 84 rated card, I thought there was room for a bit of an improvement. And it's a bit weird because I have actually downgraded him for a Premier League player. Obviously, you know, you're paying a bit of a premium for Premier League cards, regardless of kind of how good they are. But we have got Mateus Nunes in here, and he is a card which has got a pretty similar profile to Robertoni. Uh, I wouldn't say he is as good, definitely not, but he is gonna be a card that, you know, for the price, I think I paid uh, two, yeah, 2,000 coins, there or thereabouts for him. He's decent, all right? Uh, if you want someone a bit more defensive, you could pick up Palinha. Uh, I, think, I think you need a, a Portuguese link here. Uh, to get the full chemistry so if you don't want a portuguese prem player pick any premier league player that you want in center mid if you've got the coins and get in a portuguese manager so that you can get the nation link for this thierry at right back because yeah that's the only real way you're gonna solve it but yeah i think he's a good addition i do think he's a good addition he's uh not incredible but not terrible and he can do a bit of an attacking job. He can do a defensive job. He's got good uh, stats on his card. Six foot. I mean, you can look at some of these as well. Um, you know, let's have a little look at the play styles. I mean, he hasn't actually got very many, to be honest. Press proven. He's a solid all-round card, all right? That's all I'm going to say on the matter uh, anymore. So, uh, Marino, did he get any goals for me as well? He, you know, he might be worth trying out on your team. He might be worth it. Five games, one goal, whereas Nunes has got four games, one goal, three assists. So, you know, he's getting in the box, put it that way. Uh, center attacking mid. Now, we have got a man which loads of you would have played and used with on previous FIFAs. And again, he's one of the more expensive players in the team. We've got Nabil Fakir. Now, if you just look at the stats right there on the card, seven games played, seven goals, three assists. You know, it's something like a 1.3 goal slash assist per game it's pretty solid all right uh four star four star and we'll have a little look at some of the play styles he's got finesse shot power shot dead ball ball control we've got first touch flare and also technical and then physical he's got trevella uh so obviously outside of the foot passes and shots and you know he's just a really good player in the team really really solid he's got five stats over 80 you know He's obviously not going to be very good in the defensive department, but you don't want him there uh, doing that. He's just great on the ball. I've seen him come up against some very good defensive midfielders and very good centre-backs and kind of, you know, just mug them off, essentially. So, you know, you'll see he's a bit of a goal machine, a bit of an assist machine, and for the price, 8,000 coins. Obviously, in a couple of months, this guy's going to be like 1,500 coins, but this early on, there is a lot of value to be had in that, I can assure you. Moving on then to the left wing, uh, I will just say as well, we did have, I'm pretty sure it was Zhao Felix in this team um, instead of Fekir at some point. And I had a bit of a different formation. Can show you how well he done. He only lasted two games and got only got an assist. I don't really like him this year. I don't, I think they've kind of just destroyed his card. And obviously, you know, probably as a result of some on-field real life performances, but yeah, I don't think he's a card to shout about, so he's been removed from the team. Anyway, we're going to go on to the right wing spot, and it is going to be a La Liga player as well. And we're going to be going for Nico Williams. This guy is 8,000 coins, there or thereabouts, and he's probably one of the cards, again, that's going to come down in price a lot. But he's got 93 pace. He's played nine games for me, got two goals, three assists. You're probably thinking, that is not that great, Jack, but... What he does in game for the team is, you know, undeniably uh, just, I mean, basically it really, he really plays to the striker and I will show you the striker very, very shortly, but there'll be some clips on the screen as well of what Nico can do. I do actually have this guy on comeback on defense as well. Um, with his pace, I just think it's worth having. And especially when I want all these midfielders, I kind of, I allow Fakir to kind of free roam, right? And, and then I put Robertone 
and Mateus Nunes as cover center, but also come back on uh, defense. So I like them all coming back and, and defending and then having this guy as well as a bit of a backup for Thierry just does really help. And uh, yeah, he's still available for an attack because he can beat most fullbacks with a nice little burst of pace. So uh, to partner him up on the other wing, we have got a Premier League player and a new Premier League player, one that you know most of you probably would have been very surprised that he signed for Brighton, and it's going to be Ansu Fati. This card is a perfect profile to run or roll through with Evolutions, and he's probably going to be the player that I'm going to be rolling through Evolutions with, to be honest with you. He is, again, fairly expensive. I think he's about eight or 9,000 coins, but that's the price you're paying for these cheap... Well, these low-rated cheap cards that have a lot of pace, all right? That's just, it just is what it is. Um, four-star, four-star. You've got Nico with four-star, five-star. I didn't actually address that. It's mental, really, that he's got that. Um, but you can see kind of where the uh, where the money goes when you purchase him. He's got the rapid ball control um, uh, play style. He's also got flair and physical. He has got Traveller and also quick step. So, you know, great play styles to have. Ansu Fati, we'll have a little look at his. He has got the rapid and then also quick step and Travella. So again, really, really useful. But genuinely, like both these guys can kind of just zip past most fullbacks, like I said. Obviously, you will get, you know, the likes of what's a good example. A couple of players that I maybe struggle to get past. To be honest, not really many. Um, when you do come up against, obviously, the better fullbacks, you know, maybe you're not getting past them every single time. Maybe it might be, you know, one out of every two times or whatever, or five out of every ten times. But, you know, you don't expect to get people past people every single time. But, yeah, they are two very good wingers to have in your team. And then, finally, we've got the absolute goal machine, who is going to be, as you can see, Williams and uh, yeah Inaki Williams is just a bit of a joke on this game once again he has got uh, nine games played eight goals eight assists four star skill moves the weak foot you could argue is a bit annoying all right you could argue that but when you've got wingers on either side that have four star and five star weak foot um, and it's clearly not held him back in any regard because he's basically assisted 60 uh, scored and assisted 16 times in nine games if his weak foot was an issue we wouldn't be able to produce them results put it that way uh, we'll have a look at some play styles he's got the chip shot which i haven't actually managed to score one yet uh rapid and then he's also got quick step and also travella uh but genuinely just a really 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 good card and you know i think you can tell just by the lineup of this team, it works pretty well. Uh, the final player that I did actually have that I did, well, have in this team initially was Ferran Torres. Was okay. Uh, didn't really do am amazing, amazing things for me. I know he's played five games, got four goals and one assist, but yeah, found a little bit lacking for pace, in my opinion. Especially, yeah, I just, I just think... <sighs> When, you're, when your whole attack has got like 90 plus pace or whatever, and then you have a player which has 83, it kind of can slow things down a little bit. So, you know, in my opinion, this is a great front line to have. I'm going to show you my custom tactics. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm pro, all right? But these have helped me quite a bit. Now, I, I've obviously built a new team, so they're not on the screen right now, but I'm going to roll you through them now. I think the direct passing for offense is something that which you really need to have this year nowadays well in fc24 one thing i've really noticed is if you're trying to make a pass and you've got a player that's capable of making that pass usually it's pulled off all right whereas in fifa 23 you could make a pass and a defender would come from nowhere intercept it and or you know it would go nowhere near where you think it's going to go i feel like passing has been massively improved this year and i hope they don't buff it because it seems pretty decent right now and more realistic all right that's in my opinion. Um, just kind of like the trajectory and the speed that the ball travels. I think it's a big dub from um, EA this year. And uh, that's why, yeah, direct passing, in my opinion, you know, you get players moving into zones, which help create passes, making space. And especially when teams sit back, 
you know, it really helps. And it actually, if you look at the diagram right now, I can actually say, I can might even be able to find a clip where I literally do that exact move where the striker runs off the defender after you're playing it in and out around the middle of the park uh, in between defenders. And then, you know, you get the striker to get in behind there we are. It's, you know, that's the kind of thing that we've been doing. Um, width have been keeping the same. Players in box have actually been put into two. Corners, one, and then free kicks, one as well. I don't want to get done on the counter. Simple as that. That's why I do that. And you've seen the amount of goals that Fakir's had. Um, when I leave him, uh, when I put him on, I actually, I just, I don't actually do anything to him. But Robertoni, like I said, I do cover centre and also cover centre. And then I change the balance to attack to... I think I had to stay back whilst attacking, to be honest with you, because when you've got Nabil Fakir and then that th front three, I don't really think you need any backup. So that's just my opinion. And I do also have both fullbacks on stay back uh, whilst attacking and Ansu Fati and also uh, Nico Williams, like I said previously, on comeback on defence. But there we are. That is it. Uh, apart from that, Inaki Williams is on get in, get in behind. And I'd just like you guys to try out the team. Genuinely, I think you might enjoy it. And for under 50,000 coins, it's worth trying out. Bear in mind, some of these cards might come down a bit in price in the next few weeks, but they're all very good. I've won a hell of a lot of games of them. And uh, yeah, I really can't recommend them enough. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more squad builders just like this, please let me know. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.